Asante Thank you Bishop. Asante Askofu. Mungu akubariki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why don't you celebrate Jesus? Bwana tusishereke Kristo. Haya mo 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 let's celebrate him. Oh hapana wacha tumshereke Kristo. To the King of Kings. Falme wa wa falme. To the Lords of Lords. Bwana wa mabwana. Do I have the ambassador? Oh niko na wacha kilishi. Do I have the ambassador? Wa kilishi. Come on somebody shout. Oh mtu atambaza sauti. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of God. I want to appreciate our Father. Nishukuru baba yetu. Uh, Bishop Jimmy Kimani. Askofu Jimmy Kimani. Our mother Reverend uh, Alice Kimani. Mama yetu Kasisi Alice Kimani. The leaders in this church. Viongozi katika kanisa hii. All the pastors. Wachungaji. All the elders. Na hata wazee the visiting pastors wale wachungaji waliotembea the delegates from different parts wageni kutoka mahali kokote of the country and those who are coming from outside kenya na hata kutoka nje ya kenya you are in the right place muko mahali pa hapo and you get the right result na utapata majibu utakayo tell somebody you are in the right place muko mahali pa hapo and you get the right results. Na utapata majibu sambamba ama sawa sawa. I also want to appreciate my wife. Nimshukuru pia mke wangu. The only one I have. Ni yeye tu niliye naye. The one I went into the wilderness with. Ambaye niliingia jangwani naye. And we came out of the wilderness together. You know those who go with you into the wilderness. Waingiao na wewe kwa jangwa. You can keep that company even when riches come. Unaweza weka watu hao hata wakati utajiri waja. But those who fail to go with you. Lakini wakatao kwenda na wewe. They they will not enjoy your wealth. Hawawezi wakafurahikia mali yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I also want to appreciate my daughter who is here. Pia binti yangu aliyoko hapa. And I also want to appreciate my pastors that I came with. Na pia wachungaji niliokuja na wao. Ah please pastor stand up. Tafadhali wachungaji simameni tu. Appreciate this pastors. Washangilieni wachungaji hao. Delegates from Nyeri. Wale watokao Nyeri. Living Faith Ministries please stand up. Huduma ishio ya kutoka pale Nyeri. Ah let's give them a a deliverance church welcome. Wacha tuwakaribishe kama kanisa la ukombozi. God bless you sit down. Mungu awabariki mnaweza keti. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go with me to the book of Matthew. Ni twende na mimi katika kitabu cha Mathayo. Chapter 3. Mlango wa 3. I want to talk about the anointing. Nitaongea kuhusu upako. Because every son kwa sababu kila mwana must receive the impartation. Lazima apokee ile uchanzo. Uh, our father started the first day and I heard him well. Baba yetu akaanza siku ya kwanza na nikamsikia vema. And he said and Jesus Matthew 3 verse 16 Jesus. Sema Yesu katika Mathayo 3:16. When he was baptized. Alipobatizwa. He went up straight out of the water akatoka akatoka kwa maji hapo hapo and law the heavens opened natazama mbingu zikafunguka the heavens were opened mbingu zilifunguka the heavens were opened mbingu zilifunguka the heavens were opened mbingu zikafunguka i say again the heavens were opened narudia tena kwamba mbingu zilifunguka The heavens were open. Bingu zilifunguka. And he saw the spirit of God. Na akaona roho wake Mungu descending like a dove. Akiteremka kama njiwa and lighting on him. Na akamwangazia yeye who abode on him. Akasimama juu yake yeye who stuck on him. Akakatalia kwake yeye. He never left. Hakutoka. And this is a shadow of the Pentecost. Na hii ndio upentekote. You shall receive power. Utapata nguvu when the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. Roho mtakatifu akikujia, not just to make noise. Sio tu kupiga kelele. Mhm. -mm. La hasha. You shall receive power. Utapata nguvu. And then verse 17, 17 yasema, and lo a voice came from heaven. Natazama sauti ikatoka mbinguni. 
a voice came from heaven sauti ilitoka mbinguni the heaven was speaking mbingu ilikuwa inanena the heaven was approving the sun mbingu ikiwa inahakikishia mwana every son must have a father's approval kila mwana lazima awe na uhakikisho wa baba every son must have a father's endorsement kila mwana lazima awe na ile kuwekwa na baba every son must have a father's affirmation akuwe na uhakikisho wa baba yake He was affirmed by his daddy. Aliyakikishiwa na baba yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know many times we want to hear that. Na wakati mwingi tunataka kusikia hivyo. When God is saying this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Ambaye kwake yeye nimependezwa sana. But there are a couple of things that followed after that. Lakini kuna mambo yanifuata baada ya hapo. After the approval. Baada ya kuhakikishiwa, after the affirmation. Baada ya kuwekewa kwa the son was led into the wilderness. Mwana akaongozwa kwenye jangwa. The son was taken into a desert place. Alipelekwa jangwani. To be molded. Akaweze kutengezwa because you cannot get character while you're in the palace. Kwa sababu hautapata tabia ukiwa umeketi pale. You cannot get character when you're in your comfort zone. Oh, hautapata tabia kama utakaa katika hali yako ya kufurahikia tu. He was driven into the wilderness. Aliperekwa jangwani. Into the desert. Pel- kwenye jangwa. Not by the devil. Sina shetani. This is not something you can bind. He is yo kitu unaweza nunua. He has to go into the desert for character formation. Lazima angalienda jangwani ili tabia ikaweze kuumbwa. He has to be taken into the desert for his faith to be tested. Lazima angalipelekwa jangwani ili imani yake ijaribiwe. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Bwana. And the Bible tells me In chapter 4 verse from verse 1 then Jesus was led up uh, uh, by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Na Yesu akaongozwa na roho ili ajaribiwe na shetani. And after he had stayed for 40 days and 40 nights. Na baada ya siku 40 na usiku 40 then the devil comes. Alafu shetani yuaja. And and he starts now making Jesus want to doubt his identity anatilia anafanya yesu atake kutilia shauku ujulikana wake sons you must know who you are mwana lazima ujue we ni nani the devil is trying to test jesus his identity he says if you are the son of god anajaribu kumjaribu yesu kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu you know if some of you if you are asked, if you are the son of uh, kemani listen jesus knew who he was yesu alijua yeye ni nani the devil is trying to make him uh, 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 not understand who he is shetani anajaribu kumchanganya asielewe yeye ni nani the devil is trying to make him deny his identity ama amfanye akatae kuwa yeye ni nani hallelujah hallelujah those of you who desire to be sons wengine wale ambao mnataka kuwa wana there is a place you must go kuna mahali lazima uende and you must go alone na lazima uende peke yako you will not go with your bishop hautaenda na asifu you will not go with your pastor hautaenda na mtu wa place where you go through the process of making unaenda kupitia hali ya kuumbwa so that you can handle microphone ili kwamba ushikilie kipaza sauti and so that you can be ili kwamba uwe a mover and a shaker mtu wa kufanya mambo kutendeka even in your marketplace hata mahali ambapo unafanya kazi a desert place is not a place of being forsaken oh jangwa si mahali pa kutupiliwa mbali is a place where god watches from far ni mahali mungu yuatazama toka mbali how you can handle yourself unaweza jishughulikia aje because many times kwa sababu wakati mwingi as a people of god kama watu wa mungu we feel in the place of etiquette ah tunataka kuwa mahali ambapo panaka kufurahisha eh hey, kama tukiandaliwa chakula oh chakula eh hey, mungu anatuangalia tu eh hey. remember he tested gideon alimjaribu gideoni when they went in the river wakaenda pale kwenye mto vile watu walikuwa na kunywa maji when people were drinking water 
wengine wanakuja wana dive wanaanguka pale ndani others coming and diving inside lakini wale watu kuna watu walikuwa focused but if there are people who are focused because they are sons who have been through a process kwa sababu ni wana wamepitia hali they would pick the water wangalichukua ile maji and they have weapons in their hands na wako na silaha mikononi mwao and their eyes are looking out for their enemies na macho yatazama adui hapo ndio tunaangukia mtihani that is where we fail in the examination when god would send manna from heaven wakati mungu angalituma ile manna kutoka mbinguni the israelites would eat until it comes out through the nose and the ears wasraeli walikuwa wanakula hadi inatoka na mapua na masikio kukoroka gukoroka eh hey, ile hali ya kutaka sana usikoroke kiroho don't be greedy don't be greedy in the spirit tulia Relax. Go through the process. Pitia kwenye ile hali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus was taken through the process. Yesu akapitishwa kwenye hali. Kama Yesu alipitia. If Jesus went through the process, hiyo process ya recognition. Katika ile hali ya kutambulika. Nawe ni nani? Who are you? Ambaye usipitie. You will not so that you may not pass through the process. That's why after he went through. Then he was given the name. Akapatiwa jina. That is a bar. Every other name. Jina yote That at the mention. The name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue confesses. That Jesus the Messiah is the son of God. He was not only given a name. He was given a position where he is now seated at the right hand of the Father. Authority has been given unto him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord. And the fullness thereof. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So every son must understand. What we are talking about here. That every son. Must receive an anointing. And how you receive it is important. Elijah. I take Elijah, Elijah to be a son of Elijah. Elijah. And, and you know when Elijah Elijah comes to Elisha. Elijah anapomjia Elisha, he tells him to follow him. Anamwambia nifuate. And and Elisha started uh, arguing. Elisha kaanza kupingana. He says wait I must kiss my father. Wacha lazima nikaweze kumbusu babangu. Wait I must I must organize the animals at home. Lazima nipange nipange wanyama nyumbani. Wait 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 I must organize some things back home. Oh wacha nipange vitu kadhaa wakati nyumbani. But Elijah tells him. Lakini Elijah anamwambia What do I have to do with you? Nifanye nini na wewe? And he throws a mantle. Na anamtupia ile nguo and walks away. Na yuaenda. Find me if you want. Mm, nipate kama wataka. We will not pembeleza you for ministry. Hatutakubembeleza huduma. Because God is raising another generation. Kwa sababu Mungu yuainua kizazi kingine. God is bringing revival our way. Mungu aleta ufufio ndani yetu. He's going to raise sons and daughters. Kama watainua vijana na mabinti. They will not receive the Holy Ghost by the laying of hands. Hawatapata roho kwa sababu ya kuwekelewa mikono. They will be asleep by night. Watakuwa usiku wa melala. But they will wake up dreaming. Lakini watakuwa wanaota wa Speaking in tongues. They will wake up dreaming. Laying hands on the sick. They will wake up dreaming. Converting the souls that need to be converted. Listen to me deliverance church. And the delegates who are here today. You and I. We are the salt of the earth. We are the one that gives the earth taste. Sisi ndio tunapatia dunia ile ladha. Without you your community will be tasteless. Kama hauko basi watu ambao unashughulikia watakuwa hawana ladha. Hallelujah, you are the salt. But sometimes but sometimes you are not behaving like salt. Lakini wakati mwingine unahukai kama chumvi. You know when the salt loses its taste it is trodden. Basi ile chumvi ikipoteza ladha inakanyagiwa chini. Tell somebody you are the light of the world. Mwambie wewe ni mwanga wa dunia. 
You are the salt and you are the light of the world. Wewe ni mwanga na chumvi ya dunia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are here to transform this community. Tuko mali hapa kubadilisha watu tuishi waishio mali hapa. Because we are the salt. Kwa sababu sisi ndi chumvi. We are the light. Sisi ni mwanga. We will not talk of evil anymore. Hatutaongea kuhusu uovu tena. Because when I walk into a certain place. Kwa sababu nikitembea mahali, I walk with the light of God in me. Natembea na nuru ya Bwana ndani yangu. I walk with the power of God in me. Na nguvu ya I am not just an ordinary son. I am a sign and a wonder. I am a miracle. I will produce other miracles. Jesus was anointed. And then he was led into the wilderness. And many times we think wilderness is a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Ah, see, si Oh, Father, help me to come out of this wilderness. Oh, Baba, nisaidia nitoke kwa jangwa hii. It's not my portion in Jesus' oh, name. Oh, si angu katika jina la Yesu. Eh, wacha hiyo maombi. Mm-mm. Change the way you pray. Badilisha uombavo. Pray like Jesus. Omba kama Yesu. I don't like it. Sipendi. This cup. Ah, kikombe hiki. I can't bear it. Siwezi nikaifumilia. But if it is your will. Lakini kama ni mapenzi yako. I will deal with it. Nitapambana nayo. Until I get out of it. Hadi nitoke ndani yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. He's taken into the wilderness. Aperekwa jangwani. And right there. Na pale pale character that's where our character is formed tabia sasa hapo yaanza kuumbwa now there are sons who are called like samson kuna wana waitwao kama samsoni but they lacked character lakini walikosa tabia they couldn't handle ministry hawakuweza kushughulikia huduma because samson could not see a beautiful girl on site kwa sababu samsoni hangeona mrembo mbele yake machoni pake if you saw a beautiful girl and a prophecy is coming from the Lord, the prophecy would disappear. Angaliona msiana mrembo na kulikuwa na unabii ungelipotea. Samson was anointed but he lacked character. Samson alikuwa amepakwa mafuta lakini alikosa tabia. I don't want to go for anointing. I want to go for character. Sitaki kuendea ile mafuta kwanza nataka niendee tabia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want charisma. I want character. Sitaki tu ile ukarismati nataka tabia. We have to go through the process. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody I will go for character. Those who refuse character will not sustain the position. How God want to give them. How is this Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Samson missed it. Samson alikosa. I want to declare to you tonight. Nataka kukutangazia usiku wa leo. The wilderness is not a place of death. Ya kwamba jangwa si mahali pa kifo. It's a place of impact. Ni mahali pa kuwa na na kujazwa. It's a place of empowerment. Ya kupata nguvu. Empowerment. Uweza kupewa nguvu. Think about it. Hebu wazia. The children of Israel. Wana wa Israeli Mana in the morning. Mana asubuhi. Taki would come in the evening. Basi ile yule ndege angalikuja jioni. Seasoned salad before they go to bed. Basi wanapata ile nyanya kizuri na vitunguu. Their shoes were always polished and shiny. Basi viatu yao imepikwa rangi na kaa vizuri. Their clothes were always clean and intact as they grew in stature and in wisdom the clothes also grew in them and never had to pay a single coin if I were them I would have told God let us dwell here a place where you don't even sweat Mali ambapo hata haukazani everything is sent from the lord so long as you eat a portion 
that was dedicated for you for that day. Bora ukule tu kile ambacho kiliwekwa kwa sababu yako siku ile. Ukiweka tomorrow morning you find it still you find it with maggot. Ukiweka tena unapata imeharibika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A wilderness. Pale katika jangwa. At your bishop would speak to a rock. Ya kwamba askofu atanenea mwamba. And kisima water would begin to flow. Na basi maji yakaanza tukukucha. You didn't need to buy mineral water. Haunga linunua maji haya ya chupa. It was free of charge. Yalikuwa ya bure. By a man of God just speaking to the rock. Anaongelesha tu mwamba. Because of hardness of heart. Na kwa sababu ya roho mioyo migumu. The sons there had to die in the wilderness. Wana pale walikufa katika jangwa. So that God can raise another generation. Ili kwamba Mungu ainue kizazi kingine. The reason why we go is because God want to give us character. Kwa sababu Mungu anataka kutuumbia tabia. God want to teach us obedience. Anataka kutufunza kutii. Because when we learn to obey in the little things. Kwa sababu tukijifunza kutii katika mambo madogo, even in great things. Hata mambo makubwa. We shall be obedient to God. Utatii kwake Mungu. Tell somebody don't die in the wilderness. Usikufe kwenye jangwa. Allow God's character to manifest. Wacha tabia ya Mungu ionekane. Allow God's character formation. Tabia ya Mungu iumbike. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. James chapter 1 verse 2 says count it all joy. Yakobo 1:2 inasema hebu hesabue yote furaha. And my paraphrase I'm saying count it all joy. Hebu furahia yote when you go into a wilderness. Wakati unapitia jangwani. Because right there in the wilderness. Kwa sababu pale jangwani it is when your faith is tested. Ni mahali ambapo imani yako yajaribiwa. And we know that faith comes by hearing. Na tunajua kwamba imani yaja kwa kusikiza. Not by hearing garbage but hearing the word of God. Na sikusikiza uchafu lakini kusikiza neno la Mungu. Let me tell you people of God. Nikwambie mtumishi wa Mungu. Every word that you have heard from any man of God. Kila kitu kazi ambayo umesikia kutoka kwa mtumishi wa Mungu. Every word. Oh kila neno you have heard. Ambalo umesikia it will be tested. Itajaribiwa. It will be tested. Itajaribiwa. To some kwa wengine the sower sows the seed. Ah mpanzi anapanda mbegu which is the word of God. Ambalo ni neno la Mungu. But immediately lakini hapo hapo tu Satan comes. Shetani yuacha and he takes it away. Anachukua. I thank God. Nashukuru Mungu. That this conference is not on the wayside. Kwa sababu kongamano hili haliko barabarani. Hallelujah. It is here we are sowing this the word of God in the right place. Tunapanda mbegu hizi mahali ambapo panafaa. Shetani hayuko hapa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. I say praise the name of Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. So count it all joy. Kwa hivyo hesabueni yote furaha. When you are in the wilderness. Ambapo mkiwa jangwani because here your faith is tested. Kwa sababu imani yajaribiwa. And when your faith is tested. Na imani ikijaribiwa it produces inatengeza something you need as a son. Kitu ambacho unahitaji kama mwana. Patience. Uweza kutulia. I wish every spiritual father would have sons that have patience. Natamani kila baba wa kiroho akuwe na mwana ambaye anavumilia. Sons that have faith. Anaweza ngojea, ana imani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me start up the sons who are here. Wacha nichange niweze kuchanga changamsha wana ambao wako hapa. Sons who have faith. Wana waliko walioko na imani. And sons who have what I'm talking about. Walioko na kile nini nacho kuhusu. It's only a couple of years. Ni miaka kadhaa tu. To come and we can buy for our daddy a helicopter. Tutakuja tunatununulia baba wetu helicopter. So that he can go round when he goes to Tanzania he doesn't have to drive. Akienda Tanzania basi aende shigari. Kata 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 kata. Anazunguka hiyo kata 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 kata. Na makanisa za Tanzania mkuwe na mahari ya And the church in Tanzania you have an air air strip. Sons can do that to their father. Wana wanaweza mfanyia baba yao hivyo. Because whatever you cannot give your father. Kwa sababu usipoweza kumpatia baba yako. And some of you you try to give people who are not fathers. Na wengine wenyu mnapatia watu ambao si baba. Patience. Ile ukungojea. And when patience come forth The next verse. Na tukiendelea pale James it is James chapter 1 verse 
verse, yep. verse, verse 2. Now look at verse 3. Here your faith is tested and it produces patience. And patience produces in sons a perfect work. Na ile ungojevu unatengeneza kitu ambacho kimekamilika. We are not going to send out sons that are incomplete. Hatutatuma wana ambao hawajaweza kukamilika. We are going to send sons the perfect works of the Holy Ghost are evidence in their lives. Tutawatuma wana ambao kazi ya Roho Mtakatifu yaonekana maishani mwao. Because sometimes we send sons. And when he sees a congregation of a thousand. He begins to think that he is greater than a father. Now I can be on my own now. Jimmy did not call me. Let me tell some of you. Don't you eat your future. Wacha kukula umbele wako ama usoni wako. The bishop from Abusia told us. Askofu Abusia alituambia, God must stir up another generation. Mungu lazima akayeyushe akatengeze kizazi kipya to honor fathers. Lazima wajue wajifunze kutii baba. The corruption we have in our country. Ile ufisadi tuliyoko nao katika nchi will not be finished by putting people in prison. Hata haimalizi kamwe kwa kufunga watu jelani. It will be finished when we honor our fathers. Itaisha tukiheshimu baba zetu so that God will not smite our country with a curse. Ili kwamba Mungu asipige inchi na laana. But he will release a blessing to our country. Lakini basi atawatilia baraka katika inchi. Because we honor the father. Kwa sababu tunaheshimu baba. Hebu mbariki baba yako. Bless your father. Just point him and say, I bless you, my father. Ebu bariki baba. Mu 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 tazama tunawambi na kubariki baba. Kwani mweka mikono na haraka aje chini. How comes your hands are put down so very fast? You you know sometimes. Kwa kati mungi ne. We pray for you. Tuwa umbe. We minister to you. Na tuwa hudumi. But when we go home you don't know the devils we face. Lakini hamujuangi shetani ambao tunakumbana naye. Because it's not every father who shares what he goes through with the son. Kwa sababu si kila baba amwambia mwana anapitia. The son may not understand it. Mwana anaweza kosa kuelewa. Tumbariki baba tena. Ah, let's bless our father again. The next time you won't do it empty handed. Na wakati ujao hautafanya ukiwa tu mikono mitupu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here in a place of wilderness. Hapa katika hali ya jangwa. When your faith is tested. Wakati imani yako imejaribiwa. You become like Abraham. Unakuwa kama Abrahamu. Whose faith is tested. Ambaye imani yake imejaribiwa. And God says the only son you have. Ana Mungu anasema mwana ulioko naye. I want you to sacrifice him. Nataka ukaweze kumtoa dhabihu. Listen. Sons, sons who are understand their fathers are sons like Isaac. Wana waelewao baba yao ni kama Isaac. Anafungwa mikono na anakubali. Mm, he tied and he accepts. Na baba ana kisu. Na the father has a knife. Because sons trust their father. Kwa sababu wana wanamwamini baba yao. And Abraham had a covenant with God. Abraham alikuwa na na nadhiri na Mungu. Eh, na lazima Mungu adhirishe. And God must be manifested. Kama hii imani ni ya ukweli. If this faith is truly true. And when Abraham passed the test. Wakati Abraham alipita ile jaribu God says now I know. Mungu akasema sasa najua. May God say that to some people here tonight. Mungu aseme watu sasa kwa watu. I say may God say that to some people here tonight. Oh watu aseme watu kadha hapa sasa. May the heavens open to some people here tonight. Mungu aseme watu siku wa leo. May God say now I know. Sasa ninajua. The father. Ya kwamba baba. Ah now I know. Sasa naelewa. That was sure. Ya kwamba wa sure. Now I know that Karo. Sasa najua Karo has gone through the test of A, life. Amepitia majaribu ya maisha. When you have gone through the test. Ukipitia jaribu and every 
everything about you is no more. Na kila kitu kuhusu wewe ni cha kawaida. You can give God anything. Unaweza mpatia Mungu chochote. And that place Mali pale of testing you go alone. Kujaribiwa unaenda peke yako. Abraham told his servants. Abraham akamwambia akamwambia watu wake wakazi. Only myself and my son. Mimi tu na mwanangu. Are qualified in that position. Tumepita kwenda mahali pale. We will go. Tutaenda fulfill our promise to our God. Tufanye nadhiri yetu kwa Mungu. And then we shall come back. Tutarudi baadaye. Don't go with other people. Wacha kwenda na watu wengine. Go alone. Enda peke yako. Come on, say somebody go alone. Enda peke yako. The only person you can go with is your father. Mtu tu naweza enda naye ni baba yako. Hallelujah. Amen. Are there young girls here in this place? Kuna mabinti mahali hapa? Are there young girls that are not married? Kuna wasichana mabinti ambao hawajaoa, hawajaolewa samahani. Even when that boy when he comes bring him to your father. Kama akishakuja mlete kwa baba yako. Baba yako anamcheki hivi tu na macho ana design mara moja. Your father looks at him and knows exactly. Anajua ule kijana wa kweli anataka kuua msichana wake. He knows the true son that wants to marry my daughter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can sniff them like dobermans. Tunaweza wapumua na tutawajua. If they are okay we know them. Oh kama wako sawa tutakujua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't just marry somebody out there. Oh wacha tu kuolewa na mtu pale nje. And then the, the, your father is hearing that you got married. Baba yako anasikia oh huyu hata aliolewa. Na uko na watoto. Hata ako na watoto. You have children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That place you go alone. Mali pale waenda peke yako. And you go with your daddy. Unaenda na babako. How many believe that? Ni wangapi wanajua wanaamini vile? I appreciate the Lord. Ukaweze kumfurahikia Bwana na kumpigia makofi. Until God says, now I know. Hadi Mungu aseme, sasa ninajua. Keep on trying. Endelea kujaribu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I used to say when I started ministry. I don't know whether it is the right word. I said even if it's to fake it, I'll fake it until I make it. I have come too far to look back. We are in ministry to stay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say I tell somebody we are in ministry to stay. Tuko hudumani kuishi. When the anointing comes, upako ukujiapo. Something happens. Kitu cha tendeka. I saw when King Saul was anointed. Wakati mfalme Saulo alipakwa mafuta, the boy who did not want the anointing. Aliyekuwa hataki mafuta kijana. The son of Kish. Mwana wa Kishi. You must be a son of somebody. Lazima uwe mwana wa mtu. And tomorrow I'll be talking to mothers. Kesho nitakuwa nikiongea na mama. Mothers don't call your sons. Mama usimuite mwana wako. Peter Mudhoni. Oh, Petero Mudhoni. Don't call your son that. Wacha kumuita vile. Simkuje muboro name from Kemani of wa Kamere. Kuja uombe jina. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Because this boy will grow with the issues in life. Peter. Peter. Modoni. Modoni. We'll talk about that tomorrow. So son of Kish. He was not a candidate for being anointed hakukuwa wakupa kwa mafuta but because he's a son lakini sababu ni mwana faithful to his father ambaye ameaminika kwa baba yake when they were looking for who to anoint wakiangalia ni nani tutampa kama mafuta and Saul had been sent by his father to look for lost donkeys na Saul alikuwa ametumwa na babake akatafute punda waliopotea the lot fell on him ah ikamwangukia Maybe the lot of God will fall on somebody tonight. Pengine itaangukia mtu leo usiku leo. 
And Saul was anointed. Na Saul akapakwa mafuta. And immediately after the anointing, na punde tu baada ya mafuta, the donkeys that were lost were found. Punda yule aliyekuwa amepotea, walikuwa wamepotea walipatikana. I declare to you sons. Nikwambie mwana, anointing comes with the power for restoration. Upako wacha na nguvu za urejesho. I declare to you some people here tonight. Nawatangazia watu mahali hapa because of the anointing of this house sababu ya upako wa mali hapa everything that was stolen from you kicho chote kilichoibiwa kwako by reason of the anointing it shall be recovered in the name of Jesus Isaiah says in that day every burden shall be removed kila mzigo utatolewa every yoke na kila nira shall be destroyed because of the anointing because of the anointing in this house, every yoke is destroyed every generational curse is destroyed yeah. Yeah. destroyed by the anointing donkeys punda things that are not important in life if such things can be recovered things that are significant in your life will be discovered i said things that are significant in your life even things you are not thinking about they will be recovered somebody say hallelujah And I heard daddy talks about favor. Listen to me. When Saul was anointed. God gave him supernatural favor. I want to talk to somebody here tonight. You have some friends. When they see you coming in their direction, they go across the road. But when the anointing of the Holy Spirit comes upon you, people will salute you the people will say hi because of the anointing if he has prophesied it it shall happen hallelujah hallelujah favor can do what money does hallelujah hallelujah If you got a house. Kama uko na nyumba. After this conference I'm also visiting some estates in Nairobi. Ninatembelea pia hapa Nairobi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I walk in the footsteps of my father. Nitatembea kama babangu katika hatua za babangu. I hear him say. Nikisikia akisema, I'll amplify it in the city. Nitaweza kuifanya kwenye jiji. At he went through Mudaika, through oh. Runda. I will pass there before I return to my village. Oh, nitapita pale kabla nirudi kwangu. Favor tell somebody favor. Ambia mtu kibali. Favor tell somebody favor again. Kibali mwambie mtu kibali. Tell somebody again favor. Kibali. When the anointing comes. Upako uja, upako uja, ukicha. You have supernatural progression. Unakuwa na kuendelea kusiko kwa kawaida. There are people who have been stuck for some time now kwa kuna watu ambao wamekwama kwa muda sasa but at the end of this conference lakini baada ya kongamano hili the anointing of god upako wa mungu will propel you itakusukuma to your next level kwenda kwa hatua nyingine i say not the anointing of kamere sio ya kamere upako not the anointing of kemani sio askofu kemani the anointing of god lakini upako wa mungu supernatural progression kuendelea kusiko kwa kawaida Don't look like a post. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And I want you to see First Samuel chapter chapter 10. Samuel wa kwanza 10. Tuangalie. Verse 6 says. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon you. Na roho wa Mungu atakuchia. And you shall prophesy na utaweza kutabiri those things that we were prophesying tonight mambo ambayo tumetabiria leo i declare they will come to pass nitangaza zitakuja kuadia i declare a time like this tomorrow nitangaza wakati kama ukesho you will see some manifestation 
Hakuna udhihirisho. All you have to do is believe. Oh, kila utafanya amini. You know the issue of believing. Unajua kuamini is that when you believe, ukiamini, you must walk. Lazima utembee as if kama you have already received. Ushapata. Amen. Amen. When you pray for something, ukiambia kitu, don't pray for it again. Usiombe tena. Next time you come to a place of prayer, thank God about. Ukikuja kuomba basi about the thing kushukuru. you prayed for. Shukuru, shukuru. Mungu hana ile jika kwa masikio. Mm-mm. He doesn't have deaf ears. God Mungu hana masikio ambayo hayasikii. He does not have a dust bin of prayer requests in heaven. Na hana mahali ambapo anatupa maombi ambayo yameulizwa mbinguni. Daniel prayed. Daniel aliomba on the first day of his prayer and fasting. Na siku ya kwanza ya maombi yake. His prayer request had been answered. Maombi yake yakawa yameshajibiwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you will begin to prophesy. Wengi mtaanza kutabiri. Hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. Prophesy right now about Anza the favor kutabiri. of God. Anza kutubiri ufalme wa Mungu. Prophesy tabiri, right now tabiri. about your healing. Tabiri uponyaji wako, tabiri. Come on say healing is mine. Oh uponyaji ni wangu. And let me tell you people of God. Watu wa Mungu niwaambieni when our bishops have prayed for you. Askofu amekuombea. When he prays for you. Akikuombea. Healing will always follow ponyaji basi utaweza kufuata because it is Jesus who perfected kwa sababu ni Yesu anaweza kuikamilisha haleluya haleluya hey daddy those things were powerful mambo hayo yakawa ya nguvu amen you give me those declarations unipatie hiyo matangazo those declaration how I will decree them even to my chicken i'm Nita, raising chicken nitatangazia mpaka kuku zangu Because the Bible did not say when we pray for people. The Bible did not say when we lay hands. The, the Bible says when we lay hands on the sick. Me I pray even for sick cows. I pray for sick dogs. And they recover. I pray for engines that want to knock and they revive. Ninaombea My engine's a gari. Oh, engine ya gari na ina, inaanza kazi. Hey! Mm. Ah, I'm real, I'm real. Look at me again, I'm real. Mimi ni ule wa hivyo vile waniona. Yeah, mimi sio fake. Eh eh. I'm real. Hii sio drama, hii sio video. Mm-mm. This is not drama, it's not video. It's not a movie. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So every son, kila mwana Must go through this. Look at verse 6. Thou shall prophesy with them and shall be turned into another man. Utatabiri na waona utabadilishwa kuwa mtu mwingine. So sons, kwa hivyo wana, the sonship Bishop Bulimu was talking about. Wana ambao askofu Bulimu alikuwa ananena juu yake. And my father was talking about. Na babangu akawa ananena juu yake. It's about hearts. Ni mioyo, nyoyo. It's about heart. Nyoyo. Heart. Nyoyo. Because God looks at the heart. Kwa sababu Mungu atazama moyo. He does not look at our physics. He looks at our heart. Angalima umbile yetu anatazama moyo. He looks at, our, at the motive in our hearts. Angalia sababu ama kisababu ndani ya moyo wako. So this man is anointed. Kwa hivyo mtu huyu amepakwa mafuta. And immediately he stand into another man. Na punde tu anabadilika kuwa mtu mwingine. Look at verse 9 and it was so that when he had turned his back to go from Samuel God gave him another heart. Hivyo basi Mungu akampatia moyo mwingine. I pray that every son in this convention as we leave this auditorium God will give us another heart so that in 2019 something supernatural is going to happen in our homes in our businesses in our families mm. and in our churches na hata katika kanisa zetu god turned the heart of soul into another man mungu anabadilisha moyo wa sauli kwa mtu mwingine in other words what i'm talking about sons must have a changed status wana lazima wawe na hali iliyobadilika change status hali ambayo imebadilika change status wamebadilika hali yao 
Akuwa na hiyo heart lakini sasa Mungu amempatia. He did not have a heart but God gave him now a heart. Because the word of God is saying guard your heart with diligence because out of it are issues of life. Kwa sababu Biblia inasema uchunge moyo wako kwa sababu ndani yake panatoka vijibu vya maisha. Your miracle is not in heaven. Ah mujiza wako huko mbinguni. Huko moyoni. Out of your heart are the issues of life. Kutoka moyo wako pana mambo ya maisha. Success hapa. Ufanisi sio hapa. Not in the head. Hapa uliza Omedo, hapa ni ulimwengu. Hapa ni Mungu. Hapa ni dunia. Mm. Hapa ni God. The heart is God. You can be smart here. Unaweza kuwa mjanja sana hapa ama unajua mengi sana and you can be worse here. Lakini uko mbaya sana mahali hapa moyoni. But sometimes guys who are smart here. Lakini wacha nikwambie watu ambao wako wako sambamba mahali hapa. God cannot reach them. Mungu anaweza kosa kuwafikia. But guys who are okay here. Oh, lakini watu ambao moyoni mwao wako sawa. God can get them at any cost. Mungu anaweza akatafuta katika hali yoyote ile. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. May you be perfect as I finish. Ukaweze kuwa mkamilifu nikimalizia. I say may you be perfected. Uwe mkamilifu as a son. Kama mwana. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Glory to God. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. John chapter 1 verse 12 as many as received him. Yohana 1:12 kama jinsi wengi walivompokea. God gave them power. Mungu akawapa nguvu to become sons of God. Kufanyika wana wa Mungu even to them that believed in his name hata wale walioamini katika jina lake mm. you don't know what that means juu ya maanisha nini to me kwangu i've never known my biological father mimi sijawahi jua baba yangu wa kunizaa mzazi and i don't care who he is na sijali yeye ni nani because i know another daddy kwa sababu ninajua baba mwingine I know another daddy. Najua baba mwingine. I know another daddy. Najua baba mwingine. He gives us power. Anatupa nguvu to be adapted into his family. Kuweza kuridhiwa katika familia yake. How many sons do I have here tonight? Niko na wana wangapi hapa leo usiku? Usiku wa leo. How many people here know and they know and they know and they know that they are sons of god we know we are sons of god oh. because we have received him kwa sababu tumempokea yeye as i finish nikimalizia if you are here and you have not received jesus kama uko hapa haujampokea yesu kristo and you would like to receive him na ungalipenda kumpokea so that he can give you the power ili kwamba akupatie nguvu to become his son kuwa mwana wake Shoot up that hand wherever you are. Yo mkono mahali ambapo uko. I'll see you and I'll pray for you. Nitakuona na nitakuombea. You are saying I want to receive him. Unasema ningalipenda kumpokea Kristo so that he can give me this power. Ili kwamba anipatie nguvu hii. Shoot that hand higher. Hebu so nione mkono huo, nione mkono huo. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Appreciate as my daddy comes. Ninashukuru wakati babangu anakuja. Praise the name of Jesus. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. May God anoint you. Awacha upako wa Mungu. May God make a way where there seems to be no way. Mungu atengeze njia mahali ambapo panaonekana hapana njia. May God perfect things that need to be perfected Mungu in your life. Mungu vitu ambavyo vifaa kukamilika. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We. Mm. Na hiyo nayo je? And that one. Umeishika? Have you caught it? Now tell your neighbor neighbor. Mwambie jirani jirani. My life. Maisha yangu. Well, never. Hasi hakamwe kamwe. Be the same again. Kuwa sawa vile tena. In Jesus name.